Welcome to another video. This is a G advanced question from 2018. I'm just gradually getting myself into this. And one thing I've observed about the questions is they're very tricky. There are lots of tricks involved in these questions. You just have to read the question carefully and know some things. Um, if you don't know some niche information, you may not be able to answer the question, but this one is pretty easy. Let's get into the video. So our mission is to find the limit of this function, just see f of x as x approaches negative infinity. It means we have to find what f of x is. So we go back to the beginning. f is a function that maps all real numbers to real outputs and it is a differentiable function, which means you can find f prime of x, and that's why we have dy dx. And with f of zero equals zero, which means when x is zero, y equals zero. So this is an initial value problem. And if y is equal to f of x, so it means we can interchange y and f of x, and dy dx is this, we're supposed to find this. Well, just looking at it, this is a differential equation. If we can solve the differential equation, we're going to get y. And once we have y, that's our f of x. And then we can take the limit as x goes to negative infinity. All right? Okay. So let's begin. Let's solve the differential equation. And this is my focus right now. Yeah. So I'm going to say, in order to solve the differential equation, we're going to say that um, dy dx is equal to, we have 2 plus 5y times 5y minus 2. Now I can take dx to this side and bring the y to this side so that I have dy over 2 plus 5y times 5y minus 2 is equal to dx. So this is the good setting because now I put all the y on one side. This is a separable differential equation and I can integrate both sides. Let's do that. So we get the result for this. What do we get? How do we integrate this? Huh? So there are two ways you can do this, but I'm going to go the general way, which is not the tricky way. Now, I don't know how much time is allotted to these questions, but we can do um, integration by partial fraction decomposition. So this is going to be a over 5y plus 2 um, plus b over 5y minus 2. I'm going to do the cover-up method because I think that method works very quickly for separable linear uh, um, um, denominators like this. So what would I plug in here to make this zero? It's going to be negative 2 over 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to ignore this guy. I'm going to come here and cover up 5y plus 2 here. So if I cover this up and I put negative 2 over 5 here, guess what I'm going to get? If you put negative 2 over 5 here, you're going to get 5 times negative 2, that's negative 2, negative 2, that's negative 1 over 4. So I know that a <coughs> equals negative 1 over 4. That's the cover-up method. If you don't understand what I did, go watch the video. Now, we do the same thing here. We're going to look for what number to plug in. It's going to be 2 over 5. We're going to do the cover-up method and plug in 2 over 5 here. It's going to be 4. So this is going to be b is going to be 1 over 4. So these are the two values of a and b, which means we can actually write this integral, this integral on the left-hand side, this integral here. So this integral will become the integral of this plus this dx. Okay, I'm going to switch this number now to what is a? Negative 1 over 4. Negative 1 over 4, and this is going to be 1 over 4. Now you notice that I can pull out the 1 over 4 so that this becomes 1 over 4, 
and the integral of, this is the positive one, so I'll do 1 over 5y minus 2 minus 1 over 5y plus 2 dx. Well, if you integrate this, it's going to be 1 over 5 times ln of 5y minus 2. Okay, so we have 1 over 4 times, this is 1 over 5 ln of 5y minus 2, oh, minus 2, come on. And then this is going to be minus the same thing, 1 over 5 ln of 5y plus 2. Okay, um, plus c, let's do plus c. Okay, now we can pull out the 1 over 5 and write this actually as a fraction. So our answer is going to be, if you pull out 1 over 5, that's 1 over 20 times ln of 5y minus 2 over 5y plus 2. That's it. So this integral is going to be this, but on the right hand side we're going to get x and then we have our plus c. Okay, let's erase this. This is just partial fraction decomposition, and I integrated each of them separately, and I got this, I got this, I put them together using the laws of logarithms, and now I have my answer for the left-hand side. The right-hand side, if you integrate dx, you just get x. So this is the answer we get for both sides of the integration. This side gives us this side, and this one gives us x plus c. So we need to know what c is, and because it's an initial value problem, it's easy because they tell us that when x is equal to zero, the function itself is equal to zero. So we just have to go here and see what's going on. I'm going to plug in, uh-oh, the function itself is y. So when x is zero, y is also zero. So let's try and see if we can plug in uh, what we have here. So one, so um, y evaluated at zero is equal to zero implies that you have 1 over 20 times the natural log of, this is going to be 5 times 0, which is 0 minus 2 over 5 plus 2, which is 0 plus 2 equals 0 plus c. It's good that we have the absolute value there. So this is going to be 1 over 20 times ln of, this is going to be minus 2 over plus 2, that's minus 1, the absolute value of minus 1 equals c, which means, but the absolute value is 1 over 20, uh, we're trying to find c, that's 1 over 20 times ln of 1, what's that? This is equal to 0, right? Yes, this is 0, 0 times 120, so this is equal to 0. So it means that what we've gotten is actually 1 over 20, so we have, therefore, 1 over 20, of ln of 5y minus 2 over 5y plus 2 is equal to x. So at this point, we're not taking our eyes off the target. The target is y, which is our f of x, which we're going to find the limit as x goes to negative infinity. So what do I do? I need to get rid of this 20. Multiply both sides by 20. I'm going to get 20x on this side. And this guy is no longer here. And I need to get rid of this ln. So I have to do E of both sides. So at the end of the day, when I release this guy, I'm going to have 5y minus 2 over 5y plus 2 will be equal to E to, oh, this has absolute value. Okay, let's put absolute value, will be E to 20x because I take the E of both sides, right? And I need to get rid of this absolute value sign. If you get rid of the absolute value sign, this becomes plus or minus. So I have to do plus or minus and get rid of these absolute value lines. Nice. So, now, the mission is to find Y. I have to find a way to isolate Y from here. It looks like I have to cross multiply, but I really don't have to. See what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to rewrite 5y minus 2 over this as an improper fraction, or do what you call long division, you're going to end up with, so let me write it here. Let's do it here, because I need that space. Okay, this is going to be rewritten in terms of the bottom, so I'm going to write 5y plus 2 
but the top is 5y minus 2. So I have to restore the integrity of the top, and then I'm going to divide it by 5y plus 2. So this is still the same thing as this, but now I can have 5y plus 2 over 5y plus 2, which is equal to 1, and then I can have minus 4 over 5y plus 2, minus 4 over 5y plus 2, and that's going to give me, this is what's on the right, plus or minus e to the 20x. Okay, now it's easy to isolate y, because now I can move this over here, and then I'm going to have 4 over 5y plus 2, and then I can flip it. Let me show you my trick. I can say that 4 over 5y plus 2 will be equal to 1, this becomes minus or plus e to the 20x. Now I can isolate 5y plus 2, so I have 5y plus 2 equals, now anytime you're, trans you're switching something, you can just move this 4 and put it on top of this. Okay, it's one little trick of fractions. This is going to be 4 divided by 1 minus plus e to the 20x. I can get rid of this 2, and then I can divide both sides by 5. So if I subtract 2 from both sides and divide by 5, see what my answer is going to be. I'm going to have y is equal to um, 1 over 5 of 4 over 1 minus plus e to the 20x minus 2. This is the function that I'm dealing with. I wrote it this way, so it's easy for me to take the limit. Now, this is my f of x. I can actually change this and say this is f of x. So now, what is the limit? As x goes to infinity. Okay, it's not infinity, actually. It's negative infinity. Okay, so we're going to have goes to negative infinity of f of x. What would it be? Remember, as x goes to negative infinity, this becomes e to the negative something. e to the negative infinity will go to zero. This becomes negative infinity. Watch this. Where do I have a space? Let's clean the spot up. e to the negative infinity is 1 over e to infinity, which gives us zero. So whether this is plus or minus, this is going to end up being zero. So this is 1 over 5 of 4 over 1 minus 2. And what does that give me? 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 over 5. <laughs> Two over five is the limit. As x goes to negative infinity. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye bye.